What is going on YouTube? It's Flawfish here and welcome to another NHL 14 Hockey Ultimate Team Team Build Tuesday. Today we are going over a Speed Demon team and this team is one of the fastest teams I've ever played with in Hut, uh, which is has its advantages and has its dis disadvantages which I will get into later on. But let's get right into the team build here and we're starting things off on the first line with Player of the game, Hagelin, who has 92 skating, and he's very, very fast. Uh, player of the game, Sagan, uh, and Mason Raymond. Again, this line's pretty stinking fast. I think Raymond's actually one of the fastest players on this line, just from in-game play. But Hagelin, Hagelin's up there as well. And on defense, we have the Johnson brothers, who are both very, very fast, both very good defensively. And as you can tell, again, they all everyone here has a really high skater rating. And actually, even our goalie, Steve Mason, 92 quick. So he's fast as well in that. Um, on to the second line where we have player of the game, Zook, star of the week, regular Duchesne, and then star of the week, Kovalchuk, who's got, again, phenomenal skating stats considering his size. And this line, considering his size, is actually pretty dang good. Defensively, Mata only has 88 in his skate category, but he seems to play a lot faster with that. And paired with Brian Campbell, like he can keep up with Campbell, and Campbell's ridiculously fast. Again, another really, really important fast line there. Um, and again, you're going to be causing a lot of turnovers. And if you can keep the pace of play up in the other team's zone, you're going to be golden. And if you can play good on a counterattack, again, you're going to be golden. Um, on the third line, this line, definitely very, very, very quick. Again, lots of good players on this line, actually. Uh, player of the game, Marchand, one of my more underrated favorite players in this game. He's very fast, good at deking, good shot, everything like that. You guys have seen him from the player of the game team build. Then we have the USA star Luke Pavelski, who's ridiculously good. He's good on the faceoffs, wicked shot, wicked speed, wicked defensive abilities. And same with Helm, very good defensively and just super, super fast. So, And this line can kind of really really be effective on the penalty kill or four on four as yeah, i do have two natural centers on this line which is very useful and then on the fourth line we have dogvin's player of the game we have wayne gretzky and gustav nyquist team of the week the nyquist is regular skating is a 90 overall so again the only forward who is actually below 90 as far as a skater rating goes is wayne gretzky but he plays pretty dang fast himself so there's really no no issues in running him there, and again, Dogvins is just ridiculously fast. He just flies up the ice, and I forgot to point out the D pairing here, which is Bomeister and Hamilton, again, two really fast defensemen. Um, but yeah, that was the point of this team. It's just supposed to be a very, very, very fast team, and the advantage to this team is that if you get the puck in your own end, and again, with solid chemistry on the team, and you guys are in the right position, you're going to be getting a lot of odd man rushes. Like, I've had times where I've had a 3 on 0. Uh, I normally get at least two breakaways a game with this team. Uh, it's just, it's ridiculously fast, and it's a pretty fun build. It's a little bit expensive. Uh, obviously, you have Kovalchuk, you have uh, Gretzky, you have the player of the games, and uh, Sagan and Marchand and Heglin. But other than those guys, um, it's not a huge deal. I mean, Johnson's 200k. But overall, it is definitely a very, very solid team if you have the pucks to use it. It's very, very fast. Uh, while it's missing some strength in it, which I do kind of miss having, is people who can absolutely flat out lay people out. Uh, you have that in the Johnson Brothers, but uh, no forwards for that. It makes up for it in the fact that you're going to be getting these odd man rushes and you're going to be able just to skate right past everyone and get a lot of breakaways and a lot of chances that way. Anyways, guys, that is this week's Team Build Tuesday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And as always, take it easy, and I'll catch you guys on the flop side.